I've started a research project looking at um, gray squirrels and fox squirrels, and I'm mainly interested in social behaviors uh, within squirrels and their mating systems. Over 80% of squirrels in the world have a population that's threatened or endangered. So they're a species of conservation concern, and we need this type of information in order to make better management decisions for these types of animals. There are some squirrel species that are uh, considered pest species, and they are invasive when they get released into habitats that they weren't originally or naturally in. And so those squirrels, we have exactly the opposite problems that we do with the squirrels of conservation concern. For this summer, I was lucky enough to receive a gun fund, which is internal grants to faculty members here at BW. And with that money, I was able to hire two students. Since I kind of want to get my feet wet and get some experience to see if this is kind of something I really wanted to go with, which is uh, wildlife, bio wildlife conservation, conservation biology, uh, I decided to help her out in this project. And it's actually given me a lot more than I thought. I really like this field and it's something that I would really like to pursue. I thought it would be a really awesome experience like to be in like something that's real. I feel like I'm in the classroom all the time and I hear about people doing research. I don't like to sit around. I like to do something. So I feel like a real scientist. So we have um, two parts of our study. We have a field component and we have a, a lab component. The field component is trapping and marking squirrels so that we can then follow their behavior. We mark them with a uniquely colored ear tags that are uniquely numbered and we place radio collars on them so that we can find them out in the wild and actually observe them and study their behavioral interactions with each other. But we also take a genetic sample when we tag squirrels, and that we take into the lab and we can actually look at the genetic diversity of the population. 720. We get their weight, the length of their feet, the length of their shin, their location with GPS coordinates. One role that squirrels play in the environment is they're ecosystem engineers. They are uh, helping tree growth uh, and also one thing that you can tell how healthy the, the trees are in the forest based on how healthy the squirrel population is. The study harms no animals. There is very minimal disturbance to the squirrel. We love our animals as much as anybody else does so we don't want to see them stressed or harmed in any way shape or form. In terms of backyard species they're a great fun species to watch.